Eighth grade, unit three, lesson one, understanding proportional relationships. Number one, Priya jogs at a constant speed. The relationship between her distance and time is shown on the graph. Diego bikes at a constant speed twice as fast as Priya. Sketch a graph showing the relationship between Diego's distance and time. In two tenths of an hour, Diego jogged two miles. In two tenths of an hour, Priya jogged only one mile. Number two, a you pick blueberry farm offers six pounds of blueberries for $16.50. Sketch a graph of the relationship between cost and pounds of blueberries. First, I'm gonna build a table. I have pounds on the left and dollars on the right. They tell us that you get six pounds of blueberries for $16.50. Six pounds divided by six equals one pound. Since I divided the pounds by six, I need to divide the dollars by six. $16.50 divided by six. $16.50 divided by six is $2.75. So one pound would cost $2.75. The pounds for blueberries, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, doesn't jive very well with the pounds that I have in my table. So I'm gonna need to change my table a bit. 10 pounds of blueberries and 40 pounds of blueberries. One pound times 10 equals 10 pounds. Since I multiplied the pounds times 10, I need to multiply the dollars times 10. So $2.75 times 10 equals $27.50. 10 pounds of blueberries for $27.50. One pound times 40 equals 40. And since I multiplied the pounds by 40, I need to multiply the dollars by 40. So $2.75 times 40. $2.75 times 40 equals 110. So 40 pounds of blueberries for $110. 10 pounds for 27.50. 27.50 would be somewhere between 24 and 36, a little bit closer to the 24. And so I can put my point right about there. 10 pounds and $27.50. This point represents 10 pounds and $27.50. 40 pounds and $110. So $110 would be just above the $108, and I would put my point there, and this point represents 40 pounds at $110. This line represents the relationship between pounds of blueberries and the cost in dollars. Number three, a line contains the points negative four and one, and four and six. Decide whether or not each of these points is also on the line. We're going to find the slope. 6 minus 1, or the y value minus the y value, equals 5. That's the rise. The difference in the y value represents the rise of the slope. 4 minus a negative 4. That's the difference of the x values. 4 minus a negative 4, that's the same as 4 plus 4, and 4 plus 4 equals 8. That's the run. So the rise over run would be 5 over 8, or 5 eighths. 5 eighths is also 5 divided by 8, which would be the decimal 625 thousandths, or 0 0.625. So now we're going to find the slope of the coordinates 4 and 6 and the coordinates 0 and 3 and 5 tenths. 6 minus 3.5, that equals 2.5. So the rise would be 2.5, and the run would be 4 minus 0. 4 minus 0 equals 4. 2.5 divided by 4, or 2.5 over 4. That's equivalent to 5 eighths, which is also equivalent to 625 thousandths, or 0 0.625. The coordinates for A would be yes. That point would be on the same line. B. 6 minus 11 equals negative 5 for the rise. 
and the run would be 4 minus 12, and 4 minus 12 equals negative 8. So the rise would be negative 5, and the run would be negative 8. Negative 5 divided by negative 8. That's the same thing as 5 divided by 8, or 5 eighths, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And of course, 5 eighths is equivalent to 5 eighths. So the coordinates 12 and 11 would also be on the same line. C, 6 minus 50 equals negative 44. That's the difference in the y coordinates. Over 4 minus 80. That's the difference in the x coordinates. So negative 44 over negative 76, or negative 44 divided by negative 76. Again, a negative divided by a negative is the same thing as a positive. So it's also equivalent to 44 76 or 44 divided by 76. And that equals 0 0.57894 and it continues on. So that obviously is not equivalent to 0 0.625. So coordinates 80 and 50 will not be on the same line. D, 6 minus 2.875, and 6 minus 2.875 is 3.125, or 3 and 125 thousandths. So the rise would be 3 and 125 thousandths over 4 minus a negative 1. And 4 minus a negative 1 is the same as 4 plus 1. So the run would be 5. 3 and 125 thousandths over 5, or 3 and 125 thousandths divided by 5. That equals 625 thousandths, or 0 0.625, which is equivalent. It has the same slope. Yes, the coordinates negative 1 and 2 and 875 thousandths would be on the same line. Number 4. The points 2 and negative 4, x and y, and a and b all lie on the same line. Find an equation relating x and y. I'm going to use this point because it lands on the x coordinate 2 and the y coordinate negative 4. I'm not going to use this one because it doesn't land directly on a whole number. I am going to use this one because it lands directly on the whole number 6 on the x-coordinate and negative 1 for the y-coordinate. I'm going to use this one also because it lands on the x-coordinate whole number 10 and the y-coordinate whole number 2. Here's a rise of 3 and a run of 4. That means that the slope is 3 over 4 or 3 fourths slope. And again here we have a rise of 3 and a run of 4 confirming that this line has a slope of 3 fourths. An equation would be y minus the y coordinate of negative 4. And y minus negative 4 is positive 4. So y plus 4 over the difference of the x coordinates, x minus 2. That could be written as y plus 4 over x minus 2 equals a slope of 3 fourths. 